Be like man, like-minded one toward another. Be like-minded one toward another. This is a part of verse 5. When we continue the study in this chapter 5, I mean chapter 15, when verses 5 and so on, we still are dealing with the same subject. What is the subject that we are studying? In chapter 14, and most of the book of Romans, though it is a deep, deep letter that the Lord speaks to the church, and has a lot of uh, doctrine and teaching that we must keep in ourselves. Besides that, the book of Romans deals deeply and consistently about the matter of believers from the Jews and the Gentiles. And he's also emphasizing, this book of Romans is emphasizing that there is no difference. That there is no difference between the Jews and the Gentiles. That maybe there are different cultures. That maybe there are different languages. And even there are different perceptions in the whole universal life for them. But here the Lord is telling us, put these things aside and remember that the same Lord of the Jews is the same Lord of the Gentiles. It is not easy because normally we try to mix the beliefs in the Lord with some other things. That is normal for human beings. And as we always say, in every side of the world, here we are called the western side of the world. On the other side is called the eastern side of the world. And even the world is classified like, I don't know, they say that the developing countries are the third world. And maybe the ancient countries, I mean known in civilization, maybe they are called the first world. But I don't understand properly what is the term really, what it means. I understand that people try to say developing countries which means they are not well developed concerning many things, communications and uh, concerning the, even the repartition or the dividing of the income of the country is not properly you know, split for everybody. And so they call those countries developing countries because developing countries don't, doesn't mean that uh, they are poor. Most of the developing countries are rich. Like Africa and places in Asia and here in Latin America, they call developing countries, but they are really rich. They are not poor. But some few things happen there that will not enter into it. What we want to say is normally on this side of the world that is called Western, and uh, on the other side that is called Eastern world, there is a little difference in the whole concept of life. Even the concepts about home, the family concepts, all these things are a little different from one side to the other. Also, the dressing style. However, what the Lord is telling us here is, in this verse, the first verse that we read, be like-minded 
one toward another. The expression really means be of the same mind. That expression, be like-minded, really means be of the same mind. In other words, let you have the same line of thinking. But it is not that uh, we can erase the difference between one culture and another, but... It is clear when it says here, be of the same mind according to Christ Jesus. In other words, it is not that we are going from one side to the other to impose our culture or to erase anything. Culture means architecture, culture means dressing style, culture means food, culture means a lot of things. But we will not erase anything when it says be like-minded that is not concerning culture. It says be like-minded according to Christ Jesus. It means concerning our beliefs. Concerning to faith for salvation, which is only granted in Christ Jesus. Concerning our eternal dwelling, which is the same place for everybody in Christ Jesus. Concerning baptism, which is the same baptism for everyone in Christ Jesus. Concerning love, the love of God, which is the same everywhere in Christ Jesus. There are some few things that, yes, you and I can be like-minded in Christ Jesus. No difference between the Jews and the Gentiles in Christ Jesus. There are no more Differences. The same God of Jews is the same God of the Gentiles. The same scriptures where God speaks to one people is the same scriptures where God speaks to other people. But it calls my attention this verse because I just took a little part in the middle of the verse to give an idol for this message today. And it says, be like-minded one toward another. In other words, be of the same mind or have the same line of thinking in Christ Jesus, or according to Christ Jesus. In other words, concerning salvation. But there is something that calls my attention. The beginning of this verse. Look what it says. Now, the God of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded. One toward another. It emphasizes here that our God is a God of patience and he is a God of consolation. Why emphasizes this in this verse when it speaks concerning being like-minded or to be of the same mind, one toward another? Because for us to accept each other, it takes a lot of patience. Not only when you speak about one culture to the other, even in the same local church, to be like-minded, to be of the same mind, to be one in Jesus, it takes a lot of patience. Are you with me? I will repeat it. Even in the same local church, 
even with the same people of God in the same place, that they have the same local pastor, that they receive the same message every service, that they sing the same songs every time. And even at home, where everybody shared the same roof, the same table, it takes a lot of patience for human beings to be like-minded or to be of the same mind with someone else. If you are not patient, you will not be able to be together in the same mind with your brother or your sister. Are you here today? How many of you are following this teaching? I want to see the hand of the people who understand the point today. It takes a lot of patience. When I say a lot of patience, not a little patience, a lot of patience to be one with my brother. To be one with my sister. To be like-minded, it means to be in the same line of thinking and to say, I am one with, it takes a lot of patience. And not only patience, it says, let the God of patience and consolation. Because normally, in any human relationship will be hard times. Are you with me? In any kind of human relationships will be times of tears, difficulties, and sometimes discouragement. Are you following me? Yes. And then, since the Lord knows that it is a problem for us, on the written way, it is easy. You read it and you say, yes, let's do it. But in the practice, in daily life, it's not that easy, my friend, to be like-minded with someone else. Because although you have the same Savior, although you have the same salvation, although you have the same Father, although you have the same Holy Spirit, although you have the same Jesus, although you have been baptized with the same baptism, although you have the same Holy Scriptures, although you have a lot of things in common, you are different one to another. Concerning the practical life, somebody smiles a lot, somebody is like so serious in his ways. Some people, they are easy to spend, and some people, they are so hard to spend. You understand? It is normal. It is life. And then what the Lord is telling us here is don't mix your feelings with your beliefs. Can I tell you that again? Don't mix your feelings, which is the heart, with your beliefs. What are the beliefs? Beliefs are the doctrines, the teachings, the principles of the Word of God that are deep rooted in yourself.
These are the things that must remain. The other things, your feelings are external. Don't have to do with your faith. So what the Lord is telling us here is be careful that when it comes to the relationship among the brethren, among the local members of the church, or among the whole believers around the world, be careful that your feelings don't mix with your beliefs. So when the when you have the same belief, you can be like-minded. Although my brother is different to me. But the same beliefs. You believe in the same Jesus. You believe in the same eternal life. You believe in the same heavenly father. You believe in the same holy scriptures. Those are the important things. That is why this verse, though, is short. And sometimes it looks simple. When you come to scratch and come to understand what this single verse says, the Lord is identifying himself as the God of patience. And not only of patience, but the God of consolation. So if you want to be like-minded, you must understand that you are serving a God of patience. So you must be patient as well. You want to keep yourself like-minded with your brother, with your sister? Do you want to be of the same mind with your fellow worker in the Lord you want to be like minded with the teenagers with the elders with the ladies with the men with the pastor with the ushers with the Sunday uh, morning Bible schools teachers you want to be like minded with the musicians with the cook, with everyone in church, it takes a lot of patience. Are you here with me? Are you here with me? You must be patient with the teenagers. But you teenagers must be patient with the elders. You ladies must be patient with the gentlemen. And you gentlemen must be patient with the ladies. Everyone must be patient. It takes a lot of patience. And if your brother is different to you, you need a lot of patience. To know that he is saved like you, although he is different to you. And he will be in the same, in the same presence of the Lord like you, although he is so different to you. Some people speak a lot. Wow. Speak. They know how to speak. There was this preacher and I found it kind of amused. He said, some people have a mother mouth. They don't have a motorcycle. They have a mother mouth. Some people know how to speak. And some people, they are so silent, kind of shy sometimes. Are you here with me? Some people speak their mind at any cost. If you don't want to hear them, they will stand on the corner and they will stand shouting out their mind. This is what I am. This is what I believe. This is what I want to do. And some other people, you have to take a hook and try to fish in their mouth a single word from them. Do you understand me? 
but they are both saved by the same Savior. Are you with me? How many of you are understanding my point today? The God of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded one toward another in or according to Christ Jesus. Oh, how I love this word. How easy to say yes and how hard to live this verse. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I could stay here for longer, but time is almost over now. Just speaking about this verse. Because you remember, in your relationship as member of the church, with your brother and your sister, and your relationship at home, in your relationship with any human being, you will need a lot of patience. Why do you think that many people break their marriage? The day they are married, I am a pastor and I have to perform these weddings. Many times I will have to be there and I hear them and they promise to love each other forever. Until death separates them. And even there are tears in the eyes of many people on that day. Wow. And that smile after all this wedding uh, ceremony has been performed. Everything looks so nice. Then why do you think many of these people get into divorcement. Here it says, the God of patience and the God of consolation. Because not only you will need patience, you will need consolation. In human relationships, you will need patience and you will need consolation because you will be hard. Your heart will be hard many times. Normally, we do things that hurt people. Human beings, we are like that in any kind of relationship. In Christian relationship as well. In church relationship as well. I will hurt you. Don't doubt it. If you don't believe me, wait. but you will hurt me as well. That is part of human relationships. That's why we need the God of patience and the God of consolation. Remember when you are hard, hard, remember God, the Lord that you serve in too, he is a God of consolation. Amen. He is a, a God of consolation. He will comfort you. He will give you consolation. He will calm down that storm that is in your heart after people hurt you in such a way. And I will read just to finish verse 6 and I will pray to finish. Then it says that he may with one mind and one mouth glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So all this that the Lord says so that we may be like-minded and so on, it says that you may with one mind glorify God with one mind and with one mouth. It means not only with your thoughts, 
even with your words, you will be able to glorify God together when you get what the Lord says in verse 5. 